Being long a calendar spread consists of selling an option in a near-term expiration month and buying an option in a longer-term expiration month. The options are both calls or puts, have the same strike price and same contract. There are always exceptions to this. One reason to buy a calendar spread is a low-risk strategy that has profit potential from the passage of time. This may be due to known events, such as an economic report or an election, that you feel would not move the market as much as anticipated. Calendar spreads are also referred to as horizontal spreads and time spreads. Let's look at an example. A trader believes that the market will be very quiet and stable until after September expiration where she believes that the market will rally tremendously. She could just buy a December call. However, the December call premium will be expensive due to the amount of time left in that option. She can offset some of that premium by selling a shorter term call. This would be referred to as buying the calendar spread. Sell one September 2440 call and buy one December 2440 call for a net premium of $33.75. In the best case scenario, the market stays stable until after September expiration. Let's look at a few possibilities. It's now September and the underlying futures have fallen dramatically to 2000. Her short call expires worthless, allowing her to keep the premium collected from the short leg of the spread. She is still long the December call, but the value has decreased due to the market drop. Her maximum loss is only $33.75, the initial cost of the spread. Had she purchased the December call only, the loss would have been $70.50. Conversely, if the market rose to $3,000 before September expiration, her short September call would be worth $560, and her long December call will be trading close to parity at $560. The spread is worth zero, and she is out the premium of $33.75. In this case, had she purchased the December call only, it would have been very profitable. At September expiration and the futures prices have not moved, the September call expires worthless. The December call is at the money with three months remaining. It would still be worth about $50, minus the spread cost of $33.75, netting her a profit of $16.25 if she sold the December call, thus closing out her position. Following her initial instinct, she keeps the December call, hoping for a rally. Come December, let's look at the different scenarios. If the underlying futures drop to 2000, the December call expires worthless. She net loses the 3375 from the spread versus losing 7050 premium had she bought the December call alone. This would also be the case if the futures didn't move and stayed around 2400. She loses $33.75 on the spread versus $70.50 had she bought the December call alone. We had said the best case scenario would be the market stabilizing until after the September expiration. If futures rose to $3,000, the December call is worth $5.60. Less the spread cost of $33.75 nets are a gain of $5.26.75. As we've seen, the trader can design a spread position that minimizes her loss potential while leaving open the possibility of tremendous profit. Another trader may sell the calendar spread if they feel the underlying will have a dramatic move in the near term and stabilize on a longer time horizon. Traders may have a complex view of future market activity and implied volatility. Calendar spreads are one tool for traders to express their views within a certain time frame.